Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We've got lots to cover with the news today. But first and foremost, I do have to tell you all, I did get the Thunder Kitty and it is killing me because I am sitting with the Thunder Kitty at 99 out of 100 shards to max the VC. And I just can't seem to get that final VC shard. When are we going to get those MRVC missions? Come on, Gumi. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, everybody. Well, we got a lot of stuff coming out this week. Let's go ahead and pull up the notices. Uh, we did know that Camillo was going to be, come out, be coming out. Uh, he was already previously announced, or at least the light selection quest missions were previously announced. So we did know he was coming. He is a primary job Dragoon, sub job sniper and pugilist. I'm pretty excited for him. Be interesting to see if we can maybe do some Warrior of Light Dragoon shenanigans, which I have loved to do in the past. Uh, interesting notes as well for Camillo. Camillo does not have a limit burst and all of the selection quest units coming out in the future do not have limit bursts. Also, he's going to be added to the Dreams of Heroism URVC. Uh, the Dreams of Heroism URVC is probably going to give him the same effect that it gives Mont, which is the magic attack resistance up as well as the agility up so i'm thinking that's what he's going to be added onto there with uh, we also have probably more importantly is what i think is one of the most important vcs important espers in the game and that is the weirm of blizzard winds uh phrase s now phrase s the vc gives ice attack up critical damage up for ice type units and it gives ice units max hp up not only that, the limited bestowed effect gives magic up, and then they added a global exclusive effect to this, which does give max HP up and magic attack resistance up. So making any unit that equips it more tanky, as if ice didn't need more of a buff, right? Uh, they're just stacking it on, which is, I mean, okay, like we can take some more ice elemental buffs, uh, no problem. And it almost actually makes this VC good on almost any unit, right? Because the limited bestowed effect was magic, but now it gives max HP up and magic attack resistance up. I mean, the flexibility of this VC uh, is going to be really interesting. I kind of want to see what the stats are on it. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to be like a mildly statted card. We'll have to see. Uh, Weirm Snowstorm. Uh, some people were saying, and I think incorrectly, that this evocation actually adds Frostbite. And from everything I've found, I can't seem to find any verification that this adds frostbite it's not a woad of calc it's not in the description here uh but people were trying to say that the reason they were adding uh frostbite here because you can see they implemented frostbite into the game uh was because it was on the weirms kind of evocation ability and it is not so i'm kind of curious if we're just setting up for frostbite in the near future Taking a look at Frostbite as well, it does have a couple ways of being removed. It has Essena, you can use a Remedy. You can also use Purify from Ayaka's Trust Mastery. What I think is interesting is that you can also nullify Frostbite with Calamity Guard, Calamity Stronghold, and Pure Prayer. So there are going to be ways to nullify this. And I think this is information that can get lost pretty easily. Uh, so definitely keep this in mind. Of course, uh, Fryzess is going to be getting a uh, challenge mission, so you'll be able to get 75 shards for the Fry's SVC. Uh, we also have JP bonus. Uh, we're getting three new EX jobs. Of course, we already know Camillo. Uh, we're also going to be getting Durando and Shootsell. And I am actually excited uh, for both of these. I actually think uh, both of them are pretty powerful units. Uh, Durando in particular, uh, I have been having a lot of fun with using and messing around with, and you have to think about the Earth Element Select quest coming up in the future. Something to think about with Shoot Cell is we do have a Lightning Element Select quest in the future, but we also have a Lightning Great Sword coming out. So we are going to have a situation where he will be buffed pretty powerfully when that sword comes out with Cloud. Uh, Esper 3 Star Awakening, we're going to get Phrase S and Malboro. Malboro, not too excited, but uh, Poison Resistance, I guess. Uh, Phrase S is going to have Confusion Resistance. Uh, Phrase S will be added to the Beast's Den. Uh, hard Quest will be added for Phrase S's VC. And 
a little random, but uh, Alim has a voice actor now, so that's cool. Uh, we are going to be getting the Interlude Part 2 Scene 1 release this week. Uh, we're also going to get some nice login bonuses here. Uh, lots of fizz, uh, tickets. I mean, it's just the standard amazing smorgasmore. It's going to be double arena points this week. I'm excited for the story. I'm kind of curious what direction it's going to take, particularly the Mashery and Glacella story. We're also going to be getting the Typhon Challenge this week. Now, the Typhon Challenge is going to give us the Silver Rimmed Spectacles, which are an interesting piece of gear. Uh, they do give Spirit Penetration, which I think is interesting. It's definitely one of those pieces of gear where you're like, okay, uh, it gives 20 Spirit Penetration, and then it also gives 20% Blind Resistance. It doesn't have any magic on it, but it does have AP. So it adds TP, it adds AP. Uh, there's a really good accuracy version of it that adds 26 accuracy. Uh, critical hit rate, if you get the crit version, it has 12. So some very interesting, I would say it's an interesting piece of gear. And what interests me about it is the AP up on it, as well as the accuracy up. Uh, I think we don't really see a lot of gear with AP up on it. So potentially there could be some shenanigans that we might be able to do in the future. Uh, Secret book reward quest this week is gonna be spears, fists, and guns. Uh, the new selection quest will be coming out. Uh, we'll be putting out a guide for the selection quest probably the same day that it comes out uh, my goal is going to be to clear it pretty quickly um, i know floor seven eight and nine are going to be difficult so i'm thinking i might release like a preemptive guide to prep you guys on that if that's something you want let me know down in the comment section down below uh, finally we do have the beginner's guide number four video uh, no doubt featuring Justin. <laughs> so if you do want a beginner's guide video, uh, go to my beginner guide video or, or on Jay's beginner guide video. Justin's beginner guide video is okay as well. Anyway, everybody, if you do want to support me, make sure you use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins. I'm going to go and turn myself in and go to bed. Uh, have a great rest of your day, everybody.